going on everybody? It's Scott from Major's Mess Hall again. You're going to get sick of me, but since the weather's nice, it's cloudy, it's a little rainy, but you know what? It's time to cook with Scott. So what we have today, we got the Charbroil True Infrared Grill. This little thing is a beast. It cooks everything. But anyways, on to the, the real guest here. Got the grill, nice 425 degrees. I'm not cooking steak today. Well, beef steak anyways. I am cooking pork steak and I got seasoned with uh, Grill Masters Mesquite Rub. So uh, I got four of those. Just throw those on. Now with the True Infrared Grill, there is no hot spot. So every spot's a hot spot. Uh, don't mind the dogs, only got like 20 of them. So as you can hear the nice sound, the sizzling. That's what you want. Also, I got uh, Karen some uh, cheddar beef mix patties. They're really good. Got them at the local meat market. Now since I seasoned one side of uh, the meat, I'm going to season and don't worry about season putting too much on what this does it locks in the juices and the flavors as you can see nice heaping portions on and both sides are covered now since you're working with pork you're going to want to not cross contaminate stuff by uh Touching the pork and then touching the beef. Now, let's see. Okay, so you're going to cook this about six minutes, six and a half minutes on the, each side. Being that it's pork, it should be at a temperature of 170 internally. Don't have a thermometer, but being that I was a cook school, I know uh, how it feels. And uh, again, you're going to want to flip the burgers about six minutes also. Each side you get a nice medium rare. And uh, I'll get back to you and let you see the steaks as soon as I flip it. Peace. 